I smell super good and I don't know from where. I don't know if you were gonna believe that because you all think I smell like a hot pile of garbage, but whatever. Well, now your baby leaves you. You've got a tail to tell. You say you walk down on the street to a break the tail. You'll feel so lonely. You'll feel so lonely. You'll be so lonely if you die. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm super hyper and you're gonna get it, okay? Hardee's. I haven't done a Hardee's mukbang and I was craving fast food so is they don't give you fountain drinks and fountain soda is like my favorite. All right so I have some jalapeno pops, a cheese sauce, curly fries, chicken filet, I have a cheddar beef sandwich RB style. I am super super excited about something. I have gone down an obsessive rabbit hole when I roll my eyes and go cross-eyed, you know it's good. So, <clears throat> I've been wanting to plan a trip to Disney World in Orlando because it's the closest one to me forever. I did go as a kid and they just have so much food, yummy food, fun looking rides. I want to ride Haunted Mansion about a million times. And I'm so elated to see, you know, I typed in the search. Oh, be going to Disney World as an obese person. In the Disney ver vernacular, I saw one vlogger call it, one blogger call it poo size. So, <laughs> like apparently Disney World is super plus size friendly and their rides don't have weight limits. And a lot of plus size people, like one girl I was reading about, um, she's my size exactly in clothes and she's apple shaped and she's actually even taller than me um, so where leg room is concerned she had more of a problem but me I'm short so anyway so you can like I want to go to Magic Kingdom and Epcot and Universal Studios I'm not really uh, into Animal Kingdom to be honest but I just feel like once you've been to a zoo, you, you've seen it all, you know, you've been to a few zoos. So now being plus size can be challenging, right? Because Disney, at least you're, you're going to walk an average of like eight to 10 miles in a day there from what I read. You can challenge yourself to do the walk. I was watching some bloggers who rented scooters. Hardy's always has good deals here, like buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free meal. So you get a chicken burger or a burger with fries and a drink. Two of the meals were like 2KD and something, which is like less than eight bucks or like eight bucks or something like that. You can either show up at Disney early because their scooters sell up fast and rent a scooter from them directly for like 70 bucks a day, plus a $20 deposit. Or, no. There's companies very close by. And I'm excited because the thing holding me back from doing anything is always my weight, always thinking, I'm gonna wait till I lose weight to do this. I'm gonna wait, lose weight to do this. Like, losing weight, everyone, like, there's so many obese people in the world. If it were that easy, no one would be overweight, right? So battling weight issues could take years. So you're not supposed to live your life <laughs> until you're at a certain weight? No. You find ways to make your trip plus size friendly for yourself. You know what I mean? So. I'm, I have a new attitude about traveling. I know people are saying, like, I, I even said that myself. I'm like, I have an incentive for losing weight. I'm going to use travel as an incentive. Well, I'm still going to try to work on myself, but at the same time, I'm still going to travel. I'm still going to live my life. Mm. I'm a poser. I mean, why should we be left out of things? Just because we struggle with food, we have bigger appetites, we eat more, um, we weigh more, we have different body shapes.
Nah, fam. Is that another cool thing? <laughs> I like knowing that Disney is inclusive like that. So that's a good option for in the future. Beef and cheddar fix. This is some good food. So fresh. When I do travel to places, I'll be sure to share some tri uh, tips so that any fellow plus size beezers know what to expect or um, what could be helpful for them traveling as plus size people because it can be stressful. I love planning trips right down to which booths are going to be accommodating at restaurants. I really want to eat at Be Our Guest. Looks so fun. What's awesome about being a vlogger and a content creator is the fact that you get to vacation, you get to travel, and you can consider it a business trip. <laughs> because if you're getting paid and that's how you make your money, that's your business, fam. <laughs> Am I a poser? Yes. If you got a camera phone and you got the courage to put yourself on camera, not even put yourself on camera, you could vlog, you know, first person perspective. <laughs> I would encourage you to give it a try. It's fun. It's rewarding sharing, you know, your experiences. So if by the time I get to go to Disney World, and I don't think I could do the 10 miles in the park. I'm renting a scooter and I'm gonna scoot my way all around that park. I'm gonna scoot my way to Haunted Mansion. I'm gonna scoot my way to be our guest. I'm gonna scoot, 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 scoot. <laughs> I'm so hyper, what the heck is wrong with me? Anyway, I'm super hungry because I had a nap. And in my nap, in my, I was dreaming, like a very vivid dream, very vivid. I was running a marathon. So I woke up hungry. <laughs> if you have any tips for Disney, comment below. Always appreciate it. I went down the rabbit hole watching all these vlogs very pretty girls too just like overweight and have mobility issues or just don't think that they could do because disney has a lot of walking okay i walked around hawali park um if you haven't seen that video check it out on our couples channel which is a smaller amusement park you know but 10 miles i want to be very comfortable and not just that but it's very hot in orlando and it's like a humid heat there, isn't it? Here it's a dry heat, it's desert. But anyway, I'm thinking like, I wanna travel, but I'm still struggling with my weight. But maybe, so what was I saying? Gosh, I just rambled. I could, you know, travel and do travel, travel tips for people who are obese. Anyway, when I was about 10, my grandfather treated us, my mom and I, my sister wasn't born yet, I feel old, <laughs> to Disney, uh, Florida trip. I remember the hotel, I remember the hotel having little lizards, and I was like, traumatized because my grandfather hated lizards <laughs> he would try to take his slipper and go get out of here bud get out of here bud but he never killed one but he just wanted to get them out anyway don't call PETA on me okay Epcot no matter what you say is for brainiac kids and adults but if you were a dumb kid like me you don't want to go to Epcot you want to go to Universal Studios we went to MGM. I saw Hulk Hogan on, on a movie set. I know I said that a million times. But I wanted to do Epcot 
again because Epcot was so boring as a kid. I mean, I didn't care. The Universal Studios, so bad. And I never got to go to Universal, so I want to do that. But we went to Magic Kingdom. And I wore a fanny pack. And purple shorts with a Velcro area. That gave me a wedgie. I remember that wedgie. It was traumatic. On Space Mountain. I remember being super cool and dark. And they were building. They were building the Tower of Terror at the time, I think. That was my first plane ride. I don't remember much about the plane ride. Other than, like, my mom being obsessed with having me chew gum. And worried about my ears popping. Are your ears popping? Are your ears okay? Did your ears pop yet? <laughs> like Smee? I'm fine, Smee. This is so good. Look at the chicken. I know it's a lot of food, but like I said, I ran a marathon in my dream. It made me hungry. Alhamdulillah, finished. All right. So, there you go. I rambled for another million years. <laughs> I'm looking forward to planning that out. Would be so fun and so I mean if if you that's the one the only thing I dread about it. One are the huge crowds. But if you go on an off season, like in a slower season. I heard September is slower or October, but I'm not sure. And then you have um, mobility aids and, and you know, the, the, the rides are, uh, there's no weight limit. They accommodate larger people. So that right there, you know, that's a huge worry off, off of the list. So yeah, um, because most amusement parks are not, you know, and I've always had that problem. I just got used to it like okay I, I you know I'll go to the amusement park for the atmosphere and maybe for a treat like a tornado potato <laughs> and the ferris wheel or or the games or things like that but for most of the actual rides forget it you know if you're over like even 250 pounds usually no so fat girl reunion in Disney <laughs> Anyway, thanks for having lunch with me. I very appreciate it as always. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo. I'm a poser. <laughs> I was there when needed someone who wasn't getting over you. When I move to the side, when I move on your mind, and I know what you're feeling. What you feeling? I'm going to take it for a ride. Let me take it